Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes-Benz E-Class, uh, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's an E350D V6 AMG line premium G-Tronic. 2019 on the 19 plate, has done 21,369 miles. The fuel economy, urban is 42.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban is 57.7 miles per gallon and combined is 51.4 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 5.9 seconds, a top speed of 155 miles per hour, out of a 254 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. Okay, so time to get wet. The big Mercedes grill with the uh, chrome surrounds it has xenon headlamps, front parking sensors, dark silver and diamond cut AMG alloy wheels, the silver brake calipers with Mercedes-Benz logo uh, on them, power folding door mirrors, it's keyless entry and keyless lock like so, as long as you've got the key in you just open the door like so or put your finger on the door handle and it closes. Rear privacy glass, the electric tilt and slide panoramic sunroof, chrome window surrounds. We have the uh, power open, power closed tailgate. You've also got a reversing camera. Now, when I was looking at a or when I was reviewing a, a GLC the other day, I couldn't for the life of me see the reversing camera. It's actually a very clever design, because I also noticed the one on my Range Rover was iced over when I got to it in the morning, and the one on the Mercedes wasn't. It's actually in a little, um, uh, it, it's on a little flap that, that comes down when you put it in reverse. So a great idea, it keeps it clean, and also uh, keeps it uh, from freezing up. The twin chrome exhaust tips, Reversing sensors. The seats are, I'm assuming that's Artico leather and um, the Alcantara in the centre, which is a, a nice contrast. You've also, we've also got contrast stitching and you've got this glass panoramic uh, section over the uh, passengers in the back so it's it's nice and light in here it, it is quite a dark interior and with the the blind shots it uh, it is pretty claustrophobic but uh, just like this it, it's absolutely lovely really nice and comfortable seats we've got the rear central armrest there with a little storage compartment isofix rear child seats and you've got the top tether bars there as well airbags in the uh, That'll be the C pillar on this, and looks like uh, the A pillars too, and probably in the seats as well, the sides of the seat. And this black ash wood effect, which is nice. Also, it's got the, the black speakers, and uh, the sound system in this is fantastic too. Oh, bricks. Well, I'm, I'm f few. Okay, let's. Let's pretend I wasn't just locked in with the child locks then. <laughs> I, I, I'd have been really stuck then. I would, cause fortunately that, that passenger door was open. That's the one I checked. I, I never thought this one would be locked. Phew, <laughs> I'll just take you for riding it. I did have to put the seat back to, to get in the back. Um, I didn't want to get any dirt on the back of the seats, but 
you've got electric memory seats here let's just start it so that's the the new style mercedes-benz key as long as you've got the key on your foot on the brake press the start button let's see where the, the electric seats leave does let's just move the door mirrors number three is not set so right let's just set it so we'll go down back up a bit does this yeah that works the headrest now it has got a, what I consider to be a completely useless um, button in the vehicle the, this button here that's that's a heated uh, seats button which is pretty good and I'm going to switch that on and then there's a button here which I couldn't figure out it's got an L on it now you know the, the brighter amongst you might think well Baz that's left but anyway so that's the driver's seat control you press the left or the, that button there and then oh I better not do that because I've got my camera set up you can move the passenger seat from here if you click that button now I, I can't really see a a use for that at all and um, that's probably just something else to go wrong in my opinion uh, the only thing I can think is you wait for your passenger to go to sleep and then and then <laughs> squash them against the dashboard but apart from that what why would you why would you need that I, I really don't know anyway let's uh, I'm still not quite comfortable here that's that's better the seat belt it's got uh, mood lighting it's very very well specced I have to say um, it's got those seat belts that pull tight after you get in as well you think you're being strangled so mood lighting there underneath that that's that's a really nice effect again the black ash and uh, we've got if I can just find it there you go half holding door mirrors again it's also got another party trick which I'll uh, we're out of lockdown today So we're in drive, the Mercedes-Benz, uh, and also the, the handbrakes on here. It, it, as soon as I press the accelerator, to, yeah, it should go off, and we'll switch the wipers on. Now, it's a, it's a really, really nice driving car, this, I have to say. Um, it's got a couple of extras as well, air suspension, which, again, you, you press that button and it, it lifts you up not sure perhaps going over speed bumps or something but apart from that what else it's got a great display I'll switch this on my it's connected to my phone so when I switch it on I'm I might have to turn it down quickly because the uh, it's also on um, Bluetooth audio streaming Yeah, it's activating Bluetooth audio device, so I'm going to turn that down. It is lovely to drive, great gearbox, very quiet. Even though it's an AMG, it's not the, the stupid hard suspension. And you can actually enjoy the drive. It does look lovely from the outside, that black roof there. I'm not going to open it, because last time I did that when it was raining. All the water that collected dropped on me so although it's amusing for viewers it, it's not much fun for, for me because i've already got soaked ones um there at the moment that's showing what's playing on the audio and it's just showing the sat nav at the side if you want to get to the sat nav you can well you can either press nav on here which I would suggest you do, like so. At least you, you know where that is without looking. The furthest button along. Or you can, you've got a home button here next to this rotary control. You can click the home button there and then navigate to it like so. But it, it does involve 
taking your eyes off the road. And uh, in this day and age, I, I don't understand it really. It's, uh, I think cars are, are getting far too complicated and uh, I can understand them putting really good speakers in a car and so on. I go along with that and then just as soon as you get in the car, use your iPhone instead of all this business, just put a display in it. Um, now then, I didn't even know this car, oh look at that, we'll go over there. Uh, I know what you're thinking, Baz you're in a, a 19 plate E350 and you've just seen a, a Rover Metro there. R477 HAA with alloy wheels. Anyway, so here we are. Click the parking button like so. Search for parking space. So there we go. Stop the vehicle to park. Please choose parking space and confirm. So parking space there, click parking space, reverse. Into reverse. And then I'm just covering the brake. I'm not I'm not happy with that. In drive. So back into reverse. And there we go, it's parked up. Activate parking assist in operation, be ready to brake. That's it, that's how you use the braking. I'll switch that off. Please choose exiting direction. So we'll go, uh, actually we'll go right. Oh, click right. We're in drive, car coming. You couldn't write the script. So he's just caught me up really. Anyway, I'm gonna take over from there. So that's it. That's getting in and out of a parking space. I'll now take you for a drive you see there the reversing camera well I, I just I just don't know So a really, really good sound system in here. The heated seats are excellent. In fact, I'm going to knock that off. Let's see, just here, just on the side here, we've got lumbar support. So that's good too. You can control your suspension. There we go, we've got, we're in sport there. Change it again. 
individual you can set it up how you want but we'll go back to comfort there's sport into comfort and you've also got eco as well I'll, I'll put it in eco see what happens in eco but no doubt the uh, there you go eco I did knock the stop start off before but it may well come back on in eco I'm not sure just uh, so click over there I mean this car's under warranty anyway I, but uh, just checking everything works it does I have to say this this would be nice um, for everyday day use it's big enough for four people I've got a collision warning on the front there telling me I'm uh, too close to the car in front we've got let's just see there we've got cruise control and also speed limiter just see if that shuts the blind yes it does so it shut the back one as well of the passenger yeah, it's done that too there we go that's, that's tilted it up tilting it back or taking it back so there you go tilt and slide I'm not taking it back too especially going under these trees so that's that's a real good feature so it's well spec car um, I doubt if the others that are, are for sale around this price have got the this level of equipment uh, it's just been serviced too at uh, in the actually we're in we're in December now aren't we yeah we're losing track of time um, it's just been serviced we've got paddle shift on the dash here change down like so change up on the right hand side just there that's electric height and reach adjustable and uh, along with your mirrors and your seat when you set your button here we'll go back to that so you every time you get back in the car you can go straight to your exact settings that's cruise there one touch so it's at 40 miles an hour click it up to 50 there you go it's accelerating gosh look at the snow on that car we've we've also got the the like miniature touch screens you, you've got this which you can if you click the home button there you can flip across onto media for Bluetooth audio streaming there's other things you can do with the vehicle there if you click that set up the assistance tells you the fuel consumption go back with that button your light settings ambient light so we we'll just click on that that's showing you this this purple stuff around here and oh gosh you, I mean you you can change you can change all that so well there you go it's you can see it changing (laughs) 
I honestly I, I just imagine somebody going back to the dealer and saying my ambient light isn't working <laughs> be, I don't know where to start right so anyway back uh, so that's exterior light shut off you've got puddle lights there interior light shut off it's all, all, all good stuff but then you've got these touch pads on the steering wheel and I noticed before when I've got navigation on and you want to change the track that's playing you've got to go back to media at least that's what I thought anyway but what you can do you can use these touch pads here there's a home button there that brings up so I'm going around the corner now so so that brings up the menu on the dash which is the same menu that shows there on that screen so that's that's showing Navi let me just put that on and I want to go to media so I'm along to media there using the the touch thing but I, I dare say it would come to you in time but right at this moment you've got to take your eyes off the road to look at it and my I mean look at the size of my thumb it covers the whole thing before when I was driving the, the track kept changing I, I was thinking look why is it doing that and of course I, uh, I I drive with my thumbs outside the steering wheel and uh, they were resting just here and changing the tracks so all stuff you'll get used to but we'll just uh, actually I'll just turn that up um, I'll click I'll, I'll turn it up here there's nothing behind me car coming now so I'll turn it down and uh, if I remember I'll I'll cut that video in of that young lad playing the drums to Sweet Child of Mine he's about five and he's brilliant really really good sound drives fantastic looks great got all the gadgets on that you would ever need and and gadgets that you you would never need the uh, reversing lamp got front and rear parking sensors sorry reversing camera not lamp what am I thinking of and uh, it just it drives very very nice if I want such a big Range Rover fan and I am a I work for Mercedes had many a happy year working for possibly the worst company ever but we had a great team and a great time and the cars were fantastic not a very pleasant day and just go back to uh, home there you can see Those are all the menus. We'll just uh, give it some gas. Good acceleration. Red triangle showing there. So I'm not too close to the car in front. Obviously designed for somebody who hasn't got. See that that's what happens when when you uh, when you come further away from the car in front, you leave a nice gap, and then somebody spl slots in it. The dashboard's really really nice. I prefer this um, layout of the. Uh, um, the display rather than the ones in the C-Class which stick up and look like somebody's blue tacked an iPad to your, your dashboard 
Um, that's more protected, certainly. Um, I'm sure the, the C-Class ones will get damaged in more ways than, than we had a... Um, <laughs> Lady went to B&Q and loaded some curtain poles up and then shut the tailgate and it, it knocked the curtain pole through the, through the sat-nav. I, I don't know why I said lady then, because we've also had, we've also had a, uh, a guy who loaded some wood up and then slammed the tailgate and poked the back window out. And then we also had somebody moving a... Um, chest of drawers and uh, the the tailgate went down on the chest of drawers and that smashed the back window of course that you know that that was that wasn't the the person's fault because uh, <laughs> when I did it I wasn't thinking <laughs> that's my excuse Could be here for a while. But uh, you can see the mood light in there. When we went under the bridge, really shows it up. Passenger's got electric memory seats there as well. Just looking, yeah, the passenger three position memory seats as well, so. It's not as fast as a transit connect round corners, <laughs> but what is? Oh dear. Lewis Hamilton testing a transit connect there. Steering wheel's nice and nice and tactile, nice thick steering wheel. The three spokes here. So it, for for me these little touch pads there can you see that that's moving up and down and so on you can hear a click but you can't hear a click when the radio's on um, which is why I prefer buttons that you can feel a click you can't feel anything there but you I don't suppose you could I, I mean I don't even know what that's doing eco I don't, I don't know what it's doing, and I don't want to know. I've, I've no need to know. I'm pretty sure that in my 45 years of driving since I passed my test, I've never needed to have that on a display on my car. Eco, minus, minus one. What is that all about? I mean, I just don't know. Engine data, vehicle data.
yeah. If I'm honest, I'd rather have a heated steering wheel than, than that particular function. Or a heated windscreen. Or a set of carpet mats. But anyway, it's a lovely car. A nice sports sort of bucket seats built up at the side. This, this, just as it came in, it hasn't been cleaned at all. Uh, Lance will give it the treatment, although it doesn't, only needs a light clean, it's, uh, it's pretty mint. And I will uh, kind of finish the test drive there. Next one, hopefully, will be a, a Range Rover Vogue. I think it's a Westminster that we've got. Uh, blue with cream leather. And then we've got uh, a black Vogue SE 3.6, which is a bit of a beast. Very, very nice car. Well, no, we, we've got a couple of vans, but it, in all honesty, it's it's the weather has been foul the last couple of weeks and we've really dropped behind with the, with the video in it's just been it's just been too bad to uh, I mean th this was pretty clean by the time I got to where I photographed the cars there was not mud but like leaf splatter all up the side of the car and it's a lovely car it just gives the wrong impression It'd be great if we could photograph and video everything on a nice sunny day, but sadly in De Preston here, it's uh, it's it's not easy. So anyway, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile, and and how to stream audio. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.